Hi, I'm doing another little video. This time we're looking at lumber companies that were around Greensburg, Pennsylvania. I'm going to do just a uh, short intro and then we'll look at the pictures one by one. Uh, when I was a kid, my dad was a millman at a lumber company and I had the opportunity to go to work with him sometimes when the lumber company was closed and I could watch him do things and I could see what was in a, in a lumber mill and how things were made and all the different machines that were in there. It was an interesting place because they made things there. And you might have noticed that uh, in doing these videos I'm focusing on the things that people made around here in the past. Uh, you might notice that there are no longer any lumber mills around here. And there's not a whole lot that's made around here anymore. A lot of the stuff that we use is now made in China or Mexico or somewhere else. But there was a time when a lot of the things were made right here. And the lumber companies were one of the places that uh, things were made. What I want to do is shift gears here so that we can take a look at some of the this was the John Cavode Reed Lumber Company it was situated on East Pittsburgh Street and we'll see mapping of it it started out about 1888 as the jo John Cavode Reed Company and kept that name until about 1918 when it was sold to another bunch of guys and they changed the name to Greensburg Lumber and then when it burnt down in 1940 they moved the lumber company up to Urania Avenue and some people might remember it there. This is the back of that lumber company. Leroy Smeltzer did that shot and this locates it on East Pittsburgh Street with the star. This is Jack's Run going by. This is the Southwest Branch. This is 1901. This is Pittsburgh Street here, the Southwest Branch, Urania Avenue. And that's the lumber company. A Sanborn Mount, 1915. You see, it's right where the two streets meet, Otterman and Pittsburgh. This is a good place to point out the fact that there was a difference between a sawmill and a planing mill. The sawmill was a place where trees were cut up and converted into boards. The planing mill was a place where those boards were taken and refined. They were made into standard uh, thicknesses of boards. They were cut up and made into various useful products like windows, doors, flooring, uh, cabinets, anything that uh, people might need or want, chairs sometimes. These are the guys that work there. And it's interesting to see how things change at the workplace. You see, here's a little doggy up here. Down here, here's another little doggy with them. And give the impression that things have changed at the workplace, that they were somewhat more informal and a bit less regimented. Now, this building sits exactly where the John Cavode Reed Lumber Company used to sit. And when it burnt down in 1940, they built this uh, building up here on Urania Avenue. And we'll take a look at that one. That's what it looked like around 1949. We know that because that looks like a 49 Ford sitting there. And this is the view from the air. This is the building we were just looking at. And there were uh, sheds, lumber sheds up here, which could be serviced by the railroad. They could bring lumber in on the uh, railroad and unload it here. This is the same sheds from down on uh, Offutt Field. Interestingly, this outcropping of rock was one time used as a quarry, a source for rock. They sold uh, rock, cut rock out of there. And this lumber company lasted till in the 1980s when there were several big fires over there. And it didn't last after that. 
Now we go over to the Walker Lumber Company, which in the 1890s was located where Mount Pleasant Street intersects with the Southwest Branch. This was Walker Lumber Company. It was a two-story building having a planing mill and uh, right at a good location for a uh, railroad siding to bring lumber in. This is my version of it. It was a fairly good-sized building. This was a little boiler house in back making steam for the uh, steam engine to run the machinery. And this is a southwest branch up here. This is Sanborn mapping showing it in the 1890s. This takes us up to Ludwig, where we will eventually see about three planing mills. But the first one I found was 1867, the Kunkel, D. Kunkel Planing Factory, they called it. And you, you would expect to see things like this in Ludwig because the freight yard was up there. The freight station, the uh, have railroad tracks coming in where lumber could be brought in, machinery could be brought in for a lumber mill, and then finished products could be shipped out. This is a photo looking toward Greensburg. This is the original location of the uh, freight station. This building is Zonheiser Lumber, and this is the uh, railroad's GU tower to control railroad traffic up there. This is Zonheiser Lumber, which sat uh, out there by uh, Otterman Street. This is Zonheiser Lumber out there. Over here is where Kunkel uh, lumber Company used to be, and by 19, 1891, it was the Struble and Walthauer Lumber Company, and that sat there for a good while into the 1920s. Over here, along Foundry Street, was the ZT Pool Lumber Company. And this shows Ludwig in that area in 1901. And there's a meat packing, packing place that sits where the Zonheiser lumber, mill, lumber Company was. Struble and Walthauer is still in business. It sits right here on Stokes Street. That's Stokes Street coming in. And Struble and Walthauer extended over into here. That was their yards where they kept lumber and stored things. Uh, Zonheiser also had a location on, at 232. West Dotterman Street, which was closer to town. That was a planing mill, a place where they uh, converted planks into useful objects. That building sits today where the old Zonheiser Lumber Company used to sit, which was not that building. It was a different building, a two-story wooden structure that this building replaced. We go back to Ludwig. You can see the armor meatpacking building sits where Zonheiser lumber had sat. The planing mill is indicated at Struble, Struble and Walthauer, still there in 1901. And this gives it context, Seton Hill College and uh, Ludwig. By 1915, Struble and Walthauer is still located up there on Stokes at Otterman. And it has expanded a bit. You can see it spread out. And we uh, are just about at an end here. This stayed here in Ludwig until the 1920s when Struble and Walthauer moved on to South Main. And we'll see that in another little video. This it brings us to the end. And I'll say that's all, folks. See you later. Bye.